Kids, it's adventure time. We're off to climb Huang Shen Mountain in Anhui Province. Let's go check into our hotel. Okay, checked in and bags down. I'm absolutely starving. So the next task now is to go and find some local authentic food. I've heard the food here has a very unique taste. Some spicy dishes, some smelly dishes. So let's go and see what we can find. Huge day tomorrow, so we need a lot of food. We've gone for some gurgum fun, some chow kway yu, some smelly tofu, some pork, and a nice local huang shan beer to wash it all down. Let's see if it's any good. Okay, that food was absolutely incredible. The smelly fish wasn't even really that smelly though, to be honest. The restaurant was on Huang Shan's Old Town. So we're just taking a stroll through there now before heading home, ready for tomorrow's big day. Good morning. It's six o'clock here, the weather looks perfect for today. Coming home as well, it was so busy that we couldn't even find a taxi. We ended up having to take a San Lun Chur. I think I overpaid, but because it was such a special day, I really, really didn't mind. Time now to go and smash some breakfast and then head to the base of this mountain. Let's go. And we have arrived. It is stupidly hot today. I did some research last night and this mountain is actually double the size of Britain's tallest mountain, Mount Snowdon. This one stands at around 1800 meters. So I don't think it's gonna be as easy as I thought it was gonna be. The first step is actually getting on the cable car which will take us to the start of the trail. It's super, super busy today. The first day of Golden Week. There's around 15,000 people here already and it's just turned nine o'clock. Absolutely breathtaking ride in the cable car. That rock formation just behind me is Shiksim Peak, and that alone is 1,000 meters. The peak that we're heading to is 1,800 meters, so that means we have an 800 meter climb or three hours to get to the top. So that tree is 700 years old. Why it's such a long ascent is because Huangshan Mountain has 36 small peaks. These attractions are all on the way to the main peak, Lianhua.
Okay, so we've just been given some fresh information. The cable car to get off the mountain. The last one is at half past five. Where we are now is about an hour to the main peak, but then it takes about three or four hours to get from the main peak to the cable car to get off the mountain. Considering the time now is half past two, and the last cable car is in about three hours, it's gonna be tight for time, but we're gonna give it a good go. We're a little bit behind schedule, so we just asked for directions. However, Guy said to go and check out this rock formation that looks like a monkey watching the sea. So for the small price of 20 minutes, we're gonna go and check it out. steps been going on for far, far too long. Okay, we've been walking for about half an hour now and the trail has seemed to get a lot busier and there's a lot more noise coming from up ahead. So, I think we're almost at the peak. Let's go check it out. And that is the summit. Absolutely breathtaking. What an incredible place. What an absolutely incredible place. Okay, so it turns out that we have to go up to get down. So we were just over there maybe about 20 minutes ago so we've been really 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 quick but we had to climb to this peak in order to get to the other side and get the cable car to get off the mountain the last one is in about an hour and we still have about a two and a half hour journey ahead of us Where we are now is the really, really narrow steps. This is one of the main attractions of Mount Huangshan. And it's really, really not busy here at all now. I think pretty much most people have decided to start going home. The people that have stayed are probably the people that are staying at the hotel that's on the mountain. Everybody else that needs to actually get off the mountain has probably already gone home, apart from us. It's really hard to rush through this place because literally every single attraction is absolutely phenomenal. Like, look where we are right now. To be honest, it's the only point of the day where I felt a tiny, tiny, tiny bit scared. But, yeah, it's absolutely insane. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is that I can literally see the cable cars just down there. 
bad news is that I heard a helicopter just a minute ago and that's probably bad news because it usually means that they have to fly a helicopter in to pick up someone that's badly injured and can't continue their trip so let's hope that that person is okay Okay, day one complete. There are two options for tomorrow. Either we climb the mountain again, this time taking a different route, or we head to the old section of Quang Shan and see what adventures we can find there. I'm kind of leaning towards the second option because we need to rest our, body, rest our bodies. We have a big adventure coming up in a couple of days, um, which you guys will obviously see. But we'll decide when we see you guys in the morning. Good night. Okay, good morning. We slept in for most of the morning, had a nice breakfast, and now we're gonna go to the coach station because we're gonna go check out some of the countryside. See you there. And we have arrived. We've secured our tickets. It's about 104 yuan each. Now, the plan is to find a nice spot on the river to have some lunch. Food is really, really good, especially the Chao Gui Yu. To be honest, this little family restaurant make it much better than the one we tried in the really big famous restaurant the other day in the city. The people here are really honest as well. When we went to the first restaurant that we were going to try, the people told us that they didn't have air conditioning or even views of the river and to try this one instead. So we came here and I'm really glad we did. Time is getting on though, it's already late afternoon so I think we're going to take a relaxed stroll along the river and see what we can find. The sun went down and this place turned really, really vibrant. The small alleyways kind of remind me of Lingnan in Forsham. It is getting late though and we have an early bullet train ready for our next trip tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this Huangshan adventure. Don't forget to subscri subscribe and I'll see you there.